Hello, everybody. Um, as a follow up to our current series on um, power of finance design, how fraud biomass um, integration of biomass conversion technologies. Um, this particular um, presentation will try to introduce us to the basic components of aspen plant based process simulation um, for the listener to better understand how to apply soil process simulation in power refinery biomass um, biofuel simulation processes. Now the first thing we immediately observe is that once you click on the aspen plus icon is that you are transferred to this particular interface right the interface more or less defines for us our recent models um, that we have undertaken right um, and of course provides a link for us to go into our system to search for existing models within our systems and of course the opportunity to create new models right so in this case we are trying to create a new model so we click on new right we're trying a blank simulation we're starting with a blank simulation and we'll click on the create right so typically once you click on create you, you are transferred to the simulation engine now this typically doesn't take long depending on the functionality of your of your system um, now you are transferred to this particular interface now it's immediately clear just looking at it that you have this red icon or this red indicator suggesting that you require you are required to present certain inputs right now in this particular um, presentation we are going to just be focusing on how to satisfy the component specifications prior to the utilization of aspect um, now for our case you immediately see here that you have your properties your simulation your safety analysis and your energy analysis um now what this particular section requires is for you to specify the component name or the formula right and aspen plus more or less completes the unknown in other words it already has a library of these components within it so you do not necessarily need to go search for say the molecular structure the boiling point or any other of the physical properties um, for you to be able to utilize um, the software because this already is inbuilt, right? So this is one of the many advantages of um, Aspen. Now, in line with our desire to transition towards uh, more renewable energy sources, right? We're going to be trying to simulate the very basic biodiesel production um, reaction, right? Now, typically, a biodiesel reaction, production reaction, involves an oil, right? Right, and this is the, in its basic form, right? So, the basic transesterification reaction, basic, right? You require an oil, right? You require an alcohol, right? You require the, the oleates, in other words, the, the, the methyl ester, you know, and you require glycerol. So, you have a reaction that involves an oil reacting with methanol to produce the, the fatty acid methyl ester, and of course, glycerol. But this is a basic transesterification reaction. Of course, we should recognize that there are other forms of other pathways to produce biodiesel, right? You have the hydroesterification pathway, right? Which is uh, which involves ut utilizing fatty acids rather than an oil, right? So reacting the fatty acids with um, an alcohol, um, in this case, rather than using the oil, right? So there are different ways. But in this case, this is the basic form transesterification reaction, um, oil reacting with the alcohol to produce the fatty acid methyl ester with glycerol. Now for all intents and purposes, the fatty acid methyl ester is considered as biodiesel, right? With some of reading required of course. Right? So what we're first required to do um, is to specify the component name, right? So let's see. Now, a very common oil um, of triglyceride present in aspen plus is triolene, right? So we just spell it out triolene, right? And we click on the enter 
icon and you have it there right it gives you um its formula and of course a conventional component now what we mean is that right because trialing the properties of trialing already exist within aspen plus we do not necessarily need to go searching for the for the um for its properties now if we were utilizing an open source uh, software such as um, Unison, as i said earlier in the, in the, in the first course you need to now go to search for the density, um, the boiling points, um, basically all the properties of this particular component. Now, this particular is interesting. I would like us to observe this. Now, you see that we have specified methyl only that the fatty acid methyl ester, which is our biodiesel, as it were, right? Now, when we specify the, the name, it leads us here because it is not immediately clear to Aspen what this is. So what you have to do, it takes you here, it now tells you to search based on this name for this particular component. So you're required to search, right? So we are saying that it contains, the, the compound contains this, this, uh, this names, right? Or this, yeah, these names, right? So you just click on find now. Now this may take a while, but searching through the library, right? To find uh, the appropriate compound, right? Of course, you may also choose to specify other things like the molecular weights, the boiling points, right? Or the compound class, right? So everywhere there, you see it has the component here, right? Um, which will select what's well benefit if we um, we could streamline the set by specifying if it's an ester, if it's an alkene, if it's an aldehyde, the uh, handwrite, you know. Uh, also help us streamline the search. Anyway, so we found the components. We add the selected compound um, and we close it, right? And of course, we the last component is your glycerol, right? Um, so here you can essentially put um, uh, you can put whatever ID you you fancy, quite frankly, uh, but. You may choose to I typically try to utilize names that are consistent with what we expect. I could put my name there as a bar and it will still fly, but it is always wise to use names that are well established that people know so that you can fully understand your simulation. Right, having done this, you see that the icon here has now been transferred or changed from, from red to, to blue. Now, this is the case that we have introduced all our components that we require for, you know, we have introduced a sufficient number of components that aspect can work with, you know, and this for us is adequate for our particular um, process, right? Our particular transistor application reaction to produce the fatty acid methyl ester, which in this case is methyl oleate, which is also biodiesel. Right, for our, for our level, we can call it out, right? Okay, so what the next thing we need to do is to handle the property method, right? So we have to click on the next input, and it takes us to the property method interface, where we need to specify what property methods we are going to um, employ. Now, utilizing the property methods or determining the property method comes with experience, practice, and basic understanding. Now the property method, the thermodynamic property method essentially enables you to um, predict the equilibrium compositions, the liquid equilibrium compositions of the components, right? Now for you to be able to select the appropriate property method, as I said, you have to have a basic understanding of what these are. You can't just come here and just um, click on random property methods, right? Now based on experience and understanding, we know that for such a system, the non-random to liquid uh, property method, the NRTL, typically is sufficient for such a simple reaction, right? So we click on that, we have selected our property method. Now the next thing you do is to run your, your simulation to see if the simulation converges, right? Um, so you click on next, you run your property analysis setup to see if the simulation con converges. Right, so this could serve as a natural layout check to make sure that you have selected an appropriate 
uh, property model. Okay. So this may take a, a few minutes. Again, this depends on the functionality of a laptop, as well as perhaps you have other softwares running in the background. Now you see that you have results available, meaning that the system or the process is, has converged, right? Now the next course will explore um, how to develop this model in the simulation interface. So you just click on the simulation um, tab here and you are sent to the simulation environment, as it were, where you can now specify the reactions, the reactors rather, the distillation columns, you know, your heat exchangers, your suppressors, your pressure changers, your manipulators. Uh, you see, also, all these icons will be discussed briefly in the second um, or in the next uh, in the next class. All right. So you see, it's quite simple. Um, we're already we're already beginning to understand how simple this uh, pro program or this software is. Um, so look forward to seeing you in the next class. Thank you.